All right, rationalize the, the denominator. Um, when you have a quotient, a radical with a quotient, um, we want to rationalize the denominator. So what you do in this case is, uh, uh, it's really pretty simple, but first off, you split it up into two radicals. So root 16 divided by the root of 3. Okay, well, root 16, we're lucky, that's a perfect square. We know that's 4. The problem we have is the root 3 on the bottom. So that is an irrational number. It's 1.7, 1 1.7, uh, let's see here, 1.732 dot dot dot. So, you know, it keeps going on and on forever. So for, if you were to apply the division algorithm, if you didn't have a calculator, that would be 1.32 dot dot dot, and then... It, and then 4 is inside the, I think it's called the radicand, but 4 divided by 1.732 dot 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 is pretty impossible to do uh, without approximating the 1.732. So to get around this, we can go ahead and multiply by basically 1. Whoops. So if you multiply by 1, um, we can rationalize the denominator. Okay, well, I, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. What do I mean by 1? Well, I'm going to multiply by whatever the radical is on the, on the denominator. So we've got 4 root 3 on top now. But on the bottom, because I multiplied by that special number 1, root 3 divided by root 3, which is 1, now we have root 9. So the rationalized root is... 4 root 3 divided by 3 now, because root 9 is a perfect square, which is 3. Okay, so now you'd have a number 3 over here on this side. Instead of that 1.732, you'd have some decimal in here. And so it makes it a lot easier to divide. And before calculators, the only way to really go about doing it, I'm sure there are other ways, but... Okay, um, root 5 divided by root 2, again, that would be root 5 divided by root 2. Um, now that we know why we have to do this, um, we'll just go ahead and rationalize it. Well, you multiply by the special, let me rewrite it here, the special number 1, which in our case is going to be root 2 divided by root 2. So we'd have root 10 divided by root 4. Well, root 10 is not a perfect, is an irrational number, so we'll leave it. Root 4 is a perfect square, so really it's rationalized by root 10 divided by 2. So we don't want a radical in the denominator. Okay, so what about this last one here? Okay, in this case, uh, we've got 4 root 5 on the bottom. It's already split into 2. So, and I don't need to multiply by 4 root 5, because 4 is, we don't need the 4, because it's already rational. So all I'm going to do is multiply by the radical, which is root 5. So on top, you'd have 3 root 10, because 5 times 2 again is 10, over 4 root 25. Well, root 25 is 5, so you'd have 3 root 10 over 4 times 5. Well, 4 times 5 is 20, so 3 root 10 over 20. And you have a rationalized denominator in this case as well. So that's rationalizing a radical when it's in the denominator.